Now, I've always been particularly interested in faces um, and the kind of, me of messages uh, which we send out uh, through our faces all the time. And I would like to show you um, a slide or two. We have a... Um, <laughs> now, um, I, ac I acquired these slides uh, um, two years ago when I first began to come, come, came interested in this, and I wrote to a number of department stores in London and asked them to let me take portraits of the teddy bears in their toy department, and I had an enthusiastic response and given every conceivable facility, and I've just shown you a very small selection of what must be a unique collection of these photographs which I've got. And I will give you a character interpretation of each of the pictures which I see, and you can tell me whether you agree with me or not. Now, he seems to me to be a happy-go-lucky fellow, very nice to have a friend to go away on a holiday with, perhaps a little lightweight in terms of reliability and so on, but certainly fun to be with um, as a friend. Now, he, on the other hand, <laughs> And sex discrimination apart, I, I think of all teddy bears as being he's. Are there any she bears uh, in the hall? Well, you see a very, very small number. There's a, the, the sex ratio amongst bears um, must be such as to, as to, to put the, the continuance of the species into grave jeopardy. Well, um, um, right, this, this is a bear of entirely different ilk. Uh, I always imagine him to be... Um, um, for instance, a master butcher in a small provincial town, um, a member of the town council, an orderman may, may be, um, very reliable, not by any means unconscious of his own importance in, the, in, the, in, his, in his own world, in his scheme of things, but a really uh, s uh, solid and possibly stolid citizen um, of this, this small town. <laughs> he, he, on the other hand, I think is a bit naive. He has, <laughs> He hasn't, been a, he hasn't been around a great deal. Uh, I wouldn't give much for his IQ. Um, um, but maybe as he grows up, he will, he will learn the, the ways of the world a bit, a bit better. Now, he's just rude. Um, and the last one I've got, I've got a picture of seems to me to be a very dangerous sort of bear. Um, very headstrong. I always think of him as my mafia bear. <laughs> I don't think he's actually bright enough to be, in any sense, to occupy one of the upper posts of the mafia, but he might be a sort of local boss of, of some local cells mafia. Now, I'm going to have a look at some of the bears who've come to this, who've come to this lecture and see if I, can, if, I can have a, if I can do a character analysis of some of these. And you can just move over a bear for a moment um, so that, that I can sit down. Well, here, um, this one here, uh, looks to me like a, quite an old fellow. I think he has a very definite, very definite sense of humor. You can see this by the set of his eyes. S slightly wry smile on his, on his, on his head, all, on his face all the time. I think he's quite an old bear, and he's really seen life quite a lot. And I understand from his own that he is, in fact, 15 years old. So he has lived in the family for a long time. I would have thought he was great fun to have um, in, um, in the family, and that he's, he's seen it all, and he knows, and he knows it all. Now, I've got another one here, and this one actually, I'm informed, has signals from the interior. <laughs> I think it's just as well that the ones which I've been measuring on some of you have had not to be elicited by quite such a complicated method. Um, now, he seems to me to be a different sort of bear at all. I think he likes this gin. And, <laughs> and, 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 and I, can just, I, can just, I can just imagine... Um, him being, going along to the local uh, and with one foot up on the bar, uh, holding forth of his experiences uh, when he was in India uh, to all the other um, admiring bears. And as in my last one, perhaps here, I'll have this one here. Now, he looks to me really rather like rather a stubborn bear. I, I would hate to change his mind about anything. Um, stubborn, maybe a bit narrow-minded too. But I would have thought he, because of his stubbornness and steadfastness, he could be great comfort to a child who was a perhaps a little frightened of the dark and wanted somebody stout and steadfast uh, uh, to, to keep company with. Now, just for a small fee, I will do character analyses on any, on any teddy bears um, uh, which, um, uh, might be submitted, might, which might be submitted to me.